Hey everybody, Neil here, your YouTube rider, guider, channelist, coming at you this week with a bit of a controversial upload, if you like. Uh, I have an opinion, and it, uh, uh, for reasons that I'm not going to go into, it could get me into trouble. <laughs> but um, I'm, a, I'm a believer in that as a motorcyclist, and I've said it before, we're vulnerable road users, and as such, we have to gain an advantage over other motorists to keep ourselves in safe positions on the road. Sometimes it might mean accelerating, changing lanes, doing certain manoeuvres or whatever to put ourselves in safer positions on the road and to protect ourselves from accidents, such as keeping out of people's blind spots or whatever. You might just need to accelerate and it might mean doing five or 10 k's over the speed limit because it's not safe to brake. You might find yourself in a vulnerable position. So the way to get out of it is to squirt down the outside of a car just so they've seen you and you put yourself in a safer environment. I've got a, an upload coming up now which will uh, discuss and see what you think and I'll point out my thought process as I'm riding home from uh, the office a couple of days ago. And it's a great example of what I'm talking about and picking up on the clues from a particular vehicle which initially wasn't doing anything wrong. And uh, let's see what you think. Let's have a look at it. Okay, as I said earlier, uh, I'm on my way home from work and I'm just going to pause it there initially. Three lane carriageway, I've got a massive central reservation with car parks down the middle and I've got another lane exactly like this one another carriage on the other side of this area here to my right going in the opposite direction so between that into the city bound lane on the other side of this area here there are little laneways where cars can cross from one side to the other I'm in a, as you can see in a three lane carriageway and heading out of town now, I've got traffic on my left hand lane, middle lane, and further in the distance, I've got a, a car in the right hand lane here. On here, I think that's a junction, there's a car there, you can just see. He's just coming towards me now. No, he's not, a bit further on than that, let's have a look. So I'm, I'm, I'm riding down, I've got middle lane, and as, as, I'm, as I'm passing these vehicles here, I'm just gonna start edging out to the right hand side a little bit, just to make sure that if any of these cars turn right into me or decide to change lanes because there's any slow moving cars here I'm going to move it a bit further on I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about sorry for the head twisting to my right coming out of the now you enough. see here I've got this laneway here this is a car now these cars quite often if they don't see anybody in the outside lane in lane 3 they will turn right into lane 3 regardless of whether you are here or not problem you've got there is you can't trust that they've seen you they might have seen you and they might wonder why you're giving it why do you pull out the issue is of course we don't know that they've not seen us you can't rely on the fact that they haven't that they've seen you um he's gonna he waited in this occasion nothing wrong with this bloke it's all in this white car i'm in the middle lane but quite often they will turn right and stay in the right hand lane assuming that you think that you're safe you never are let's be honest so anyway i pass him as I get beyond him, I'm catching these vehicles here. And the reason I'm catching them is this, 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 there's a vehicle there just turned in. There's a potential. There's quite a lot of businesses here. There's a shopping centre. There's a petrol station. There's a Dan Murphy's liquor store. A bit further up the road, there's pet shops and stuff. So any one of these vehicles can indicate slow down and turn left. The risk that that causes for any of these vehicles there is there. Then, therefore, is that these cars might want to turn into the middle lane to go around them as is their prerogative, assuming they do indicate and check the mirrors and make sure they're not going to run over a motorcyclist. Problems here, now, cars breaking. here we go. Now, as, as I said exactly then, I've got this vehicle here. Now, in that situation, ideally, I'd want to be in lane three. However, I've got to also factor in this guy. So rather than go right into that right-hand lane, I go right to the right-hand side of this lane just to cover it off. And I'm a bit to the right, no, not as far out the, as I was, as I thought I was, but I needed to be to the right hand side of this lane here to make sure that none of these vehicles 
and in, in lane one, came out to the middle lane. As I move ahead, I'm in the middle blind spot of this carry a little bit. You catch him behind. And what happens now? This is where it starts. Back him up. What I'm talking about. You see this black ute? Right at the beginning of the clip, he was in the left hand lane. He's doing nothing wrong. He's a bit close here. And the reason he's a bit close is because I'm approaching some roadworks and I'm backing off. Notice here. That is a 40 side. It's not miles per hour. That's kilometers an hour. So about 25 miles an hour. The reason being, I've got this bloke setting out cones or taking them in. He's a road worker and he's stood in the road, so I'm backing off. I've got this guy up my ass in the black ute. Down. I've got control over him. I've got control over his speed, as I said there. I might just better turn my volume up a little bit because I'm chirping on. Right, back to it. So I'm watching the uh, white Yaris, but I've got it covered. As I get beyond the road worker, I can speed up and then distance myself from that ute and he's, he's, he's quite a distance behind me now. I've got a slip road to my right. As I said, there's a lot of businesses here and it's not easy for these vehicles to access these, these businesses and a lot of them come round this slip road from having come this way to get to this side of the road to then get across as quick as they can either into one of these junctions to the left further up or the businesses there's a pet shop further up there's a food land there's a uh, fishing tackle shop a big big superstore type thing as i go a bit further up the road my issue is of course any of these vehicles might want to come right across it's not their fault that it's a, a quick um transition from far far right hand slip road to the left hand lane this guy's not always an issue to me this one is because he's in front of me and I'm not going to be able to speed up too quick old one. to get beyond him because I wasn't safe to do so in case he came to the lane. What this one did was stay where they were. However, on a side note, there's a kid in the passenger seat chucking litter out. In a bit. Chances are I'm safe now. I'm going to just sneak through there. Thanks for flicking your shit at me. <laughs> Thanks for flicking your shit at me, I said. Right, as I'm going further up the road. Now, watch this. Road position. Right, I'm just going to pause, go, pause, go. Now, if I can just can bring your attention to down here. That's that black ute. Watch the traffic lights. They've gone. Now, I couldn't have stopped in that period of time. He's quite a distance behind me. You can just see him in my mirror. They're just the corner of him. He's quite a way of distance back. You use every bit of your lane. I've said that now, before. So watch this blue car to my right. I didn't mention it. It was irrelevant, but I logged it. The guy in the black ute followed me through an amber light. Again, same situation coming up now. Another one of these guys pulling cones in. Got all these roadworks on the right. Now, as I get a bit closer, I'm slowing down. I'm backing off, and I've I've duplicated what happened earlier with the other guy who was doing this. When I was approaching a 40s, there's another guy messing around with cones. And again, the black ewe has followed me up, right on my ass. So I'm backing him off, slowing him up. Same situation. As I back him off, how big a distance have I got here to stop at this pedestrian crossing? Notwithstanding this appalling bit of driving and parking by this truck here. In the old country, you couldn't park on or even near to a pedestrian crossing for this exact reason. This is an appalling bit of parking. He wants shafting, um, in my opinion. You've got a pedestrian crossing. Behind that truck could be pedestrians. We can't see them. They can't see us. It's a dangerous position to park. However, I can still see Amber Light, Amber Light. He couldn't stop in front, too quick for him. I could easily stop here. However, this guy, I'm going to just turn up my volume and we're going to run this through in real time. Let me just crank up the volume and listen to the conversation I'm having with myself. I always talk to myself. You know it. Now, it, Pillock followed me. He had previous, as we know, he had form for this and I clocked it earlier. So it's green there. 
Yellow there, we've got an amber. I, I'm gonna go forward again now. Still amber, still amber, still amber, still amber. Now the rule here, as is anywhere, you stop on an amber, not just on a red. And it's if it's safe to do so. I've got a pedestrian here, got two pedestrians. That light, as I've gone over the line, is amber by a smidgen of a second a cox hair right it is now as i've gone over the line red and very red that you behind me follow me now the issue i've got there is i i spotted him earlier and he had previous for doing so in hindsight at that position there if I've got an empty lane to my right and I'm wanting to stop, knowing that that guy behind might not, I can jump across and stop. There's no reason why I couldn't have done that in hindsight. Even safer in this issue, because in this issue, because this guy here is parked, that is a safe zone for me. It's a very unusual situation to find yourself in that, and it didn't cross my mind immediately in that one or one and a half seconds to jump across there. I was too busy concentrating on these lights, cursing this pillock in the uh, truck for parking his, his big load, loader there. I could have jumped across there in hindsight. If it was an empty lane, I could have done. And I could have stopped and not broke the law. Arguably, I didn't. I had to massively amber gamble to make sure that I didn't get rear-ended. And like I said, he's got previous, he's got four as this you for running big amber lights, or the last one wasn't half as bad as this. I mean, it, it was red when he went through massively. Let me um, go with it now. And I'm gonna just make sure the volume's up and we'll discuss it live. Oh, the car behind me got through. Do you see what's happening there? I had my yellow light, but look what happened in my mirror. He followed me, I was in, really, had to, I'm glad I went. It was one of them perfect moments to show you. Yeah. He warned me earlier of his behaviour. He was just a bit, this guy here, did you see what happened in the mirror? I hope I picked it up. And that's defensive riding. Again, you've got a situation there where I had a pedestrian crossing with pedestrians waiting to cross and I'm watching it and it went to Amber and I was going to stop. But I was already clued up with the, the Colorado and he caught me up earlier and I kept him clocked and sure enough he followed me through and it must have been a very long red for him because it was still the yellow but only bloody just for me and I was watching him I thought I've got to go here because he's going to hit me and sure enough X-ray, X-ray, two, four, six, Yankee. He's the man that could have just hit me up the ass. I'm not saying he would have done, because if I had hit the brakes, he'd have probably stopped as well. But... Now, easy man. He's not even racing. He is just lazy, ass, tradey, just getting home. Can't be ass stopping at red traffic lights. He's not racing, he's not in a rush, there's no reason for him to do it. Now, last tip of the day. And that's the danger, isn't it? You've got to be completely aware of that now. I want to be over here because any of these cars might just be a bit impatient and jump out of my lane. And I'm right, any of them cars could have come into that right hand lane, why wouldn't they? If they want to get to the outside lane, they could jump out on you, you've got to be careful. At that point then, look at this white ute. I didn't mention it, but look how close he gets to me not there, at this point, once I'm real, like once I'm happy that any of these cars are staying where they are, I go back to the left hand side, almost, almost to here, in a lane splitting position. I sort of move to the left here now, and watch how close this white yield in my mirror comes. There's not much of a gap. He takes it, because he's rushing to get through that green light on the, on, on the uh, arrow. Um, so there, there are occasions, as I mentioned, where you've got to pick up, what, three or four minutes beforehand, people's behaviour. 
and their attitude on the road. And that's an exact example there of why we have to do it and why we have to sometimes fracture a couple of road rules to stay safe. That one was a bit extreme, having to run a, a long amber to make sure you don't get rear-ended. As I said, I could have jumped to the right-hand lane in hindsight, but there you go. Right, an interesting one to consider and keep in mind. It's a very good defence if a copper t pulls you and says, why do you run that yellow light? Because there's somebody up my arse about to kill me or, you know, take you out. It's not, um, it's not an ideal situation and I was far safer running through and the chances are the police would not have pulled me, they'd have pulled him and they'd have probably patted me on the back for not, stop, for not stopping and having awareness of what was going on around me, I would hope. Anyway, that's your lot for that one. Let's crack on, keep safe people. Keep in mind the Drift Ghost X giveaway, as I mentioned earlier, we have got that happening rather soon. Uh, there's a video about what I'm giving away I'll put a link up at the end of this. And that's what I'm on. I'm looking for another 40 odd subscribers. Once I hit 300, it's on. One of you a lot is getting a free gift. <laughs> uh, right safe. Good to see you all. Bye.